So today I'm going to show you how to do a route planning on the Avionics iPad app, which I've been using lately. And I will plan a route from uh, the area I've been sailing lately up in the San Juans from Cap Sani Marina to uh, Roche Harbor that we're going to be traveling here in a week. Um, so basically I go to route and I select a new route and I'm going to just place some waypoints where I want them and keep placing them uh, the route I would like to travel this here is crossing the uh, Rosario Strait, which can get fairly rough at times. And I want to go past this Larson Rock without having issues through Thatcher Pass. And zoom out a little bit, and we will go move this waypoint through here. Keep clicking the waypoints to the route we would like to follow. And you don't have to worry about getting them perfect. You can go back and adjust them. Like if that one's a little bit too close, you just click and drag it over. I get to uh, where we like to go. So there's all my points, and now I'll go back and kind of fine tune the route. Make sure I'm not uh, crossing any pieces of land. Come over a little bit there. Okay, I'll zoom out. There's my route. And I can uh, look at the information here about this route. And this will tell you uh, all the waypoints with uh, miles between them. From 0 to 1 is 0.34 nautical miles. It'll take 3 minutes, 23 seconds to get there. It gives you a bearing and how many gallons of fuel estimated and it'll give you one of those for each leg of the route and when you get to the bottom you'll see it's 29 nautical miles it'll take me four hours 49 minutes it's take about five gallons of fuel and this is based at six knots cruising speed and if i think i'm going to be cruising say at five and a half knots it will adjust that and now I'm going to be uh, five hours and sixteen minutes 
and um, you can also adjust your fuel I haven't really dialed in my exact rate yet but you can upper track your fuel usage and uh, get a better estimate of that and uh, from there you can close that out hit go and it will basically uh, start tracking you to your route once you hit start so it keeps track of each leg here and tells you the uh, time to that leg and your bearing and um, here take, take, keeps track of each leg as you go and gives you your estimated time of arrival for the um, entire route and since I'm not at this location now it's telling me I'm quite a bit of distance away at 176 nautical miles from my start point but the route is basically planned and anytime you want you can uh, zoom in on any point and go back to route edit and basically uh, move drag and drop each point as you want to try to fine tune your route and uh, hit go again and the route will be changed as easy as that um, I can show you a route that I did last weekend if I go to menu tracks and it will save a track this is the one from last Sunday which uh, was from Orcas Island back to Anacortes and it tells you that the max speed was about 6.7 knots the duration was 4 hours 57 minutes um, it was 17.3 miles and it keeps track of your average speed and your uh, distance uh, through your routes and basically you can see here that this little ticker there the red one is your boat and you can replay your route as you went through it and you can see up here the speed we were doing at that point 5.7 knots at this time we were motoring in our sailboat it'll tell you our bearing and the length of the trip we've had and as well as the time into the trip we've had and you can see at this point we basically uh, stopped here and put up our sails pretty quickly so you'll see the speed drop for a minute to um, right there is where we headed into the wind got our sails up and then we started sailing and we were doing about four knots three knots and the winds were picking up and we got up to five knots there under sail and uh, here we're back up to five, five in knots and um, you can also fast forward this with your finger down here and just to any point you want here we were still under sail and at this point we put our sails back up getting ready to cross the straits it was pretty rough and we were motoring the rest of the way back to Cap Thani. And when you got to here, at the end of the trip, the marina, you saw what we did uh, 12 miles and 3 hours and 24 minutes was the uh, length of the trip. So it's a nice way to go back and see uh, where you were at what time and when you were sailing, uh, what speed you were as you were sailing, and uh, kind of look back and see what you did right and wrong, and what you did changes that you made to improve your speed and adjusting the sails and whatnot. So overall, it's a very uh, nice tool for that. And that's about it for route planning. I um, always go through and plan a route when we're going from location or back from a location, and. I uh, track it and save that track 
so I can go back to uh, different trips and see um, all the trips that we've taken. Thanks for watching.